Changing a habit is hard work as we are constantly tempted to revert to our old ways, the highways of the past. Perhaps that is why Paul wrote in several of his letters about specific behavior of believers that needed to change. In Titus 3 verse 2, he reminds the believers that they must not slander anyone and must avoid quarreling. Instead, be gentle and show true humility to everyone. In the verse before, Paul says believers should place themselves under the authority of government officials. He even expands what that means to obey them and support them in every good thing they do. In the earlier verses, he wrote to highlight appropriate behavior for young and old, men and women, slaves and owners. That sounds pretty inclusive, like everyone from one end of the spectrum to the other end. The rationale behind this is that we may set a good example for believers, an example aligned with the word of God and not with society around us. Here are a couple of questions to reflect on. Press pause for more time to reflect. How well have you implemented the action steps you decided on thus far? How can you strengthen your resolve in this regard? What thoughts are hindering you? How can you adapt your strategy or tactics in growing in humility? Dear friend, I bless you with Colossians 3 verse 12. As holy people whom God has chosen and loved, be sympathetic, kind, humble, gentle and patient. Put up with each other and forgive each other if anyone has a complaint. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. Above all, be loving. This ties everything together perfectly. You are a new creation if you have accepted Jesus as your Saviour. He has set you free from everything that has tried to entrap you, the fruits of a sinful life as listed in verse 5. Sexual sin, perversion, passion, lust, greed, that's worshipping wealth. I bless you to now also get rid of anger, hot tempers, hatred, cursing, Obscene language and similar sins, also lying, verse 8 and 9. This you will achieve by keeping your mind on things above, not on worldly things. May this word take root to do its complete work in your humanity, spirit, soul and body.